Good morning everybody and welcome to our service of family communion for the fourth Sunday of Easter. We gather in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. The prayer of preparation which we say together. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts be open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, hello once again. Our theme today is the Good Shepherd. And what do shepherds need? Sheep. Well, I hope you might have drawn or made one during the week or even more, two or three. If you have done, please have them with you now. Maybe you even drew one of these from Sarah's clever design. Just uses numbers three and nine. Thought that was brilliant. Um, I've got my sheep with, you, with me. You might be able to see them in the background. They're out for a bit of a walk at the minute. Can you see them? Here's one of them. Um, he is actually called Sean, actually, as it goes. And we'll be seeing more of him and all my other sheep later on. Before we go any further though, let's say sorry to God for the things we've not done as well as we could do and for the things we've really done wrong. And let's ask his forgiveness. Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed for us. Let us therefore rejoice by putting away all malice and evil and confessing our sins with a true and sincere heart. Jesus, good shepherd, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, good shepherd, hear us to teach us to recognise, hear and hearken only to your voice. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Jesus, good shepherd, gate unto the Father. Lead me back into the fold. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Lord enrich you with his grace and nourish you with his blessing. The Lord defend you in trouble and keep you from all evil. The Lord accept your prayers and absolve you from your offences. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. We're going to sing now the Gloria, so please do join in. It's a new one to many of us, and it's got clapping. So be ready to go. We sing to the glory of God.
The Collect for the fourth Sunday of Easter. Let us pray. Risen Christ, faithful shepherd of your father's sheep, teach us to hear your voice and to obey your command, that all your people may be gathered into one flock to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Our Bible reading, our Gospel now. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the first and the last, says the Lord, and the living one. I was dead and now I am alive for evermore. Amen. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Very truly, I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate but climbs in by another way is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he's brought out all his own, he goes ahead of them and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying. So again, Jesus said to them, very truly, I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep didn't listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and to kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. That story we've just heard has a title which is Jesus the Good Shepherd. And it's saying that Jesus is like a shepherd. And what did we say at the beginning? We said shepherds need sheep. Well, we're going to go and visit my sheep now because they're not out anymore having a walk. They've gone into their pen, their sheep fold. Did you hear that word? That's the name for where they live. They've gone into their sheep fold for the night. Here they are. Here's all my sheep. Um, there they are in the sheep fold. And there is the shepherd have a big aerial view. There they are in their sheepfold. And if we go down here now, look, what have we got here? We've got the gate, the gate to the sheepfold. And that's the first thing Jesus talked about, actually, isn't it? The gate. That, he said, is the only proper way in and out. Sometimes you might get someone like this looking a bit dodgy. Uh, seeing if anyone's watching him he's trying to get in but no one's going to open the gate for him so what does he do he doesn't go in through the gate he goes wandering off round the back and then what's he going to do he's going to climb over the wall and break in whoa that's not right says jesus anyone like that what did he say thieves and bandits they're there to destroy and do harm no The only way in and out really is that gate. Well, let's have a look who's inside. There they are, all my sheep. How many? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, well, that's not good because I've got six. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, it's all right. Here is the, um, this is the assistant shepherd. He's an apprentice. And can you see... He's got the little black-faced sheep. Isn't he sweet? He's got him under his arm. I think he might have hurt himself or something. But shepherds look after their sheep, so he's picked him up and he's brought him back. And he can go in through the gate, can't he? Because he's allowed in there and so are all the sheep. That's great. I've got six now. Um, and here's the shepherd. Here's the, the, the chief shepherd. Now, the sheep are in there for the night at the minute, but in the day, they'll come out. And they come out when they hear the voice of the shepherd. Did you hear that? Because they know his voice. There you go. They'll come out and follow the shepherd and have some food, eat some grass. And then the shepherd will call them back again. And they follow his voice because they know him and they trust him. So there they are, they follow his voice in and out. Now this shepherd, there he is. What did we say? We said Jesus is like the shepherd. 
Now, when Jesus looks after sheep, they're not real sheep, are they? Who are his sheep? Well, Jesus looks after all of us, doesn't he? Jesus looks after us. And when we hear his voice, we can trust what he says to us too. You know, you wouldn't listen to a stranger. We wouldn't talk to strangers. They might be dangerous, but we can trust Jesus. We know his voice and that what he says will be good and helpful. So we'd follow him like the sheep follow their shepherd in and out. There was a third thing, though. Jesus actually said, I am the gate, didn't he? I am the gate. Not a gate like that. I'm going to take that one away. What he was talking about was, again, something that shepherds used to do because years ago they didn't have any gates. So the shepherd sometimes would actually come and at night to make the entrance safe, the shepherd would actually lie down there and make himself into a human gate. So anyone who came along and tried to get in would have to go through the gate of the shepherd. And sometimes that shepherd, in protecting his sheep, would actually lay down his life for his sheep. And that's something else we say about Jesus too, isn't it? But that's a story for another day. There we are, the shepherd of his sheep. Jesus is our shepherd. He cares about us and we're his sheep. We can always trust his voice. And he's the gate He's the way in. He's the entrance to knowing about God and to joining God's family, to joining God's flock. Thank you, Jesus, our good shepherd. And now we're going to say our prayers. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, you are the good shepherd. You look after me and each one of us, just like the shepherds look after his sheep. Thank you for caring of us. Lord God, you are always with me. You are with me in the day and in the night. You are with me when I'm healthy. When I'm you are with me when I'm happy and I'm sad. Today I'm feeling lonely because I miss my friends at school. Help us to remember that you love me in each one of us and that you are with me every minute of the day. Amen. Dear Jesus, please look after our friends and families. Help us to be kind to one another and to be patient while we are at home. Help us, help us do our work and to keep our children learning. Help us to think about others and to be considerate. Amen. Dear Jesus, we pray for all those people who are poorly at the moment, the people we know, but everyone else too, all around the world and in every country. We pray for the doctors and the nurses who are looking after them and for the scientists looking for a vaccine. Please keep them strong and help them to make people better. Amen. Dear Jesus, teach me to recognise your voice and to listen to what you say like the shepherds listen to what their shepherds say merciful father accept these prayers for the sake of your son our lord jesus christ amen the peace the risen christ came and stood among his disciples and said Peace be with you. Then were they glad when they saw the Lord. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Thank you. This next bit's called the Eucharistic prayer. And so we set up the table now, the altar, with the bread and with the water and the wine. The Lord is here. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places. 
to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. But chiefly we are bound to praise you because you raised him gloriously from the dead. For he is the true Paschal Lamb, who was offered for us and has taken away the sin of the world. By his death he has destroyed death, and by his rising again he has restored us to new life. To you be glory and praise for ever. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand on high. To you be glory and praise for ever. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a people for your own possession. To you be glory and praise for ever. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we, Lord, your great and glorious name, evermore praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, and as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Spirit these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and blood. Who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. To you be praise and glory for ever. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. To you be glory and praise for ever. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself, made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and we look for the coming of your kingdom. And with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. Accept through him, our great high priest, this our sacrifice of praise and thanks. And as we eat and drink these holy and spiritual gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us with your spirit. Inspire us with your love and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. To you be glory and praise for ever. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, with songs of everlasting praise, blessing and honour and glory and power. Be yours for ever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God Father, and so together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share by the Spirit in the one true bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy upon us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy upon us. 
Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us peace. Alleluia. Our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ, broken for you. Amen. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, shed for you. Amen. Let us pray. Merciful Father, you gave your Son Jesus Christ to be the Good Shepherd and in his love for us to lay down his life and to rise again. Keep us always under his protection and give us grace to follow in his steps. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you all for being here. Thank you to the Funnel family for the prayers. Thank you to the Browse family for the music. But as I said, most especially thank you to each one of you for joining in the spirit in our worship. Stay home, stay safe, stay connected. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. The God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, make you perfect in every work to do his will. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. <laughs>